It's a day of celebration in the village of Ambojijavi outside Antananarivo, where residents are gathering at the cemetery. Ravo is about to see her dead grandparents again. They died almost 30 years ago, but for a few hours their bodies will be digged up from their graves. It's a time of celebration for us. It's exhumation for our grandparents. This ancestral Malagasy tradition, originally from Asia, is known as Famadihana, or the turning of the bones. It is an occasion for a spectacular and expensive celebration where people dance with the dead and change their shrouds. It's a way for the living to connect with the dead. It's like a tribute to the memory of the dead. Even if the dead are no longer by their side, the living still think they are cold and need blankets and stay by their side until the evening. Yet, for some, the experience can be confusing. Isabel is standing in front of the body of her child, who died nine years ago, aged only three. I'm sad and happy at the same time. Sad when I look at him, decomposed. We don't know if he's human anymore. The turning of the bones is one of the rare occasions she sees her extended family. She also gets to ask for the blessing of her ancestors. The Malagasy consider the dead as messengers to God who can influence the lives of the living. There really was a blessing. In the past, our family was poor, a little poor, but now everyone has found work. Agriculture is doing well now. Everything is going well, even agriculture. We can live off it. But every year after the celebration, Malagasy people die of the plague. According to the Ministry of Health, some dead bodies carrying the bacteria could contaminate living organisms. In the face of the plague epidemic, the Malagasy's physical attachment to their dead is now facing a public health challenge.